and I think this is the main length of the walk which is just kind of the same yeah I'd probably say if you've got young children maybe I don't know if they're not great with roads maybe not there are though these things well bus stops and there's quite a lot of them I don't know how frequent the buses are that's another question because I've not seen one yet although it's Sunday and talking of bus stops we also have a sign for Green Bank Garden I love a signpost and that actually wasn't very far at all we road you're looking for called Flanders Roads yeah so there's like it's like a wee sort of tree lined avenue it's actually really nice and it's quiet now the traffic has shut up thankfully and when you get through this wee bit so it really doesn't take long at all if you're walking which is good to know because I think in Scotland we've got all of these wee places like parks and gardens and wee like fancy hussies like manor houses and things like that and we never really go and visit them ourselves we just let the tourists do that I don't know why oh because I'm kind of flying insect so yeah thank the lord it's nice and quiet nice bee and we get to this bit and there's like a a cute wee fence which I don't know what the purpose of it is but it must be for something <laughs> and then there's a sign and it's still a road basically and it continues on to where I don't know but this is this is the the garden and then there's a, like a wee house here I guess somebody lives there and we have the welcome sign which is a national trust for Scotland place and look at these views I'm not sure if that's private property so I don't want to just stumble over but these views are phenomenal and I've got a car behind me like yeah there's a lot of cars here and there is a huge car park as well uh, on the right which I'm, I think you have to pass through but and there's a cheeky wee fence so I'm actually going to go over and just have a wee swatch at this fence just to look at this lovely beautiful countryside it's a bit muddy oh dear I'm always out when it's muddy but look at this and it's so quiet and peaceful
So, here I am at Green Bank Garden. It is a gorgeous day here in Scotland. And you can see the countryside round about me. And I've walked up from the station at Clarkson. It doesn't take long, just like 10 minutes. But it is a walk, straight road, but it's a busy road. And it's a Sunday, so I really wouldn't want to walk here if I had like slow people or old people. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> So then, once you get past the awful car park, then you come across the wee sort of welcome area. So you've got your sign, Welcome to Green Bank, you've got the garden, the cafe, plant sales, and toilets. Okay, so you come through the cute wee cafe and then you've got a very friendly, helpful person inside. They're out of maps though. It's okay, I don't need a map. I prefer not to have a map. And then you come through and it's like a secret garden. And there are folk around, so I'm not going to point my camera at them, but... Because it's like a courtyard, so I'll just do a wee quick. It's like a courtyard, you know, and folk are just enjoying themselves. I'm not going to like point my camera, I'm just looking where I should go. But it's very nice, and you've got all these like flowers around the sides. Straight away, you've got little Signs telling you what this is a narcissist, sure sure polar mist, <laughs> and it just looks like I'm not quite sure how you navigate this. I think you're just allowed to walk over the grass, which looks quite quite nice. Um, yeah, no path. So yeah, I just spoke with a couple of folk who are sitting there and they've just directed me. This is kind of all the sort of plants and shrubs that they've planted at the side. But I, I'll get probably get a shot from when I'm at the bottom. There is um, a cute wee bench if you wanted to sit there and chill. And so the house is in like the middle. You've got this high, like walled garden all the way around. And then you see these very formally pruned hedges opening up to this beautiful big manor house or not quite sure how you would describe it really. And these quite majestically pruned hedges. And the sky is just absolutely gorgeous today. So this is like the gate that you go through from that big house and then you walk through here. I've decided to put my buds back in because actually there's not really like too many birds singing in that. I think that's probably because it's quite an artificial garden. And so it's not like when you're in the sort of more wild areas and you hear the birds going la la or cuckoo. <laughs> Might have not really heard much bird song. So, I take it these are like, um, I don't know, cabbage? It's actually quite, quite 
quite an absence of um, little descriptions. There's tiny little things here. Little leaks. Okay, there you go. They're leaks. Um, you really have to get down in your hunkers. Um, I don't even know what that says. Some kind of onion, I think. And it is quite busy. But look at these. Gorgeous. Looks to me like an orchid. Colour is phenomenal. They're looking a wee bit tired, but... Interesting how they're just sort of there. Um, now this is the, the thing with a place like this. You've got to try and sort of avoid where the other people are going. <laughs> and folk are always wandering around so slowly. <laughs> And um, <clears throat> yeah, and for some reason it's all couples. <laughs> it must be like a lover's paradise, you know, something out of Shakespeare or Romeo and Juliet or something, where all the couples come for walks. Yeah, quite boring, but never mind. This is quiet though, not a soul in sight, hallelujah. This is very nice. And of course you could imagine a wedding happening here, couldn't you? And it's all bordered by shrubs and trees and berry plants and flowers and... Not going to lie, it looks like it could do a wee bit of TLC. And then you come to this wee... I think from what I read about this place, this is like um, a sundial. And this is like a little central part. It reminds me a bit of a maze. You've got all these wee lanes leading off. You don't know what way to go. And then you've got, of course, the house in the middle, which is actually really pretty. I'm quite lucky at the moment. Nobody is in shot. There's another little path. hear voices, but I can't see anybody yet. Yeah, I definitely think it looks like it needs a little bit of TLC. They've got greenhouses on that side. So, go and explore them. These are quite phenomenal. These are really interesting. They look like some kind of... um. Oh, what was that flower I had in mind? I don't know, but... Oh, gosh. Is that stinging nettles? Do they have flowers? Oh, I like a nettle tea. And they come down the main sort of... Straight route, and this is what I'm talking about. Definitely need some TLC because there's this wee, wee bit up here. Look how overgrown this is. I'm not saying it to shame anybody, but I mean, it's a shame that that needs to cut back. Come on, guys. It's summertime. 
Where's your gardener? But anyway, this is cute. It's a wee memorial bench for somebody. But yeah. does slightly disappoint me when I see places like this that are so unkempt really and a lot of it does seem really overgrown it's sad and I like some of the gardens that you visit they're absolutely pristine like the one in Melrose Maybe that's meant to be like that, but I don't understand why the first part is so... I mean, look at all this. This one needs cut back. Do they have a gardener here? <laughs> I'm actually quite shocked. Look like all of this. Look how... Scavenge that is by little creatures. Hmm, some kind of interesting thistle in the back there. Sort of like a round looking thistle. But yeah, it's very, um, just need some TLC. Wine and roses. Yeah, I don't see much of either on that, to be honest. It's a nice bee. And, uh, yeah, the bees like this one. Definitely. Lots of bees on this one. And then... This area has got some nice little coloured... This is nice. This is pretty. Very orange and yellow. And they've got some poppies. The flies seem to love this. Oh, yeah. And those are beautiful poppies. I think that's what they are. And then there's some really pretty purpley flowers in the background, mixed in with the white, the orange, the lilac, and the gorgeous poppies. Yeah, this is a wee bit special. I think they forgot about the rest of it though. And we TP tents in the background, how cute. So this is a this is a feast for the eyes. And then you come round and of course I'm not pointing my camera at the people who are <laughs> sitting enjoying nature. Uh yeah. So I think like it's just like little sections that you come and look how glorious the sky is. It's the most beautiful day. This does remind me a wee bit of Moni's house in France. A wee bit. And it would be my dream to go back there. These are gorgeous. What a beautiful red. I love this colour. And this is another area that is like um, a greenhouse. Definitely think the gardener's like retired or something. <laughs> it's all locked up anyway. Not allowed in. 
Oh dear. And then it's easy to kind of get lost where you are. Just come round and there's like look at that. I was just talking about Moni's garden there. And look what I found. Water lilies. <laughs> Amazing. I wonder where they got the inspiration for this. Okay, so you can kind of go up the side bits and I should have said I did actually have to pay to come in here it's not free I love how they've got all these wee ducats for benches or sitting But again, a lot of it's pretty overgrown looking. I need a lot of TLC. It's quite wet underfoot. And the pretty flowers. I was going down a section there, it seemed like everybody was going into that same bit at the same time, so I changed my, <laughs> I changed my path. Folk just like to be with other folk, don't they? And it doesn't matter, they could be like, literally like, just, I mean it's all right when you need, <laughs> or you want to be around other people, but sometimes if you just try to like chill out, you don't really need to be like where everybody else is all at the same time. I've never been like that. I've never felt that need. I just think I'm a free spirit and I'm pretty sure that I'm definitely not the only one. This colour is gorgeous. You get the sense that it's quite posh here. This is a wee bit like a maze, this bit. Yeah. It's like hedges and not really much else. Quite formal. And then there was people there, so through this other bit and you kind of lose track of where you are. I don't think I've passed through here. And this is like, I'm guessing this must be, um, I mean, actually, I don't know. Strange little door. <laughs> Not sure what that is. Um, yeah, so. 
I'll backtrack a little bit and And there's this, um, I don't know if I should be doing this, but it's very overgrown and it says, please close the gate. It's a gate where, I don't know, it just looks like a bit of a wooded area. It's all locked up anyway. You couldn't get through there even if you wanted. Maybe that's the secret garden. Maybe that's where, like, Prince Charming is hiding. Maybe that's where the lovers have their secret trysts. In the middle of the night. Before the servants arise. No, get me out of here. Through the foliage. <gasps> Yeah, I think I'm back at the sundial. <clears throat> Probably got beasties all over me now. Beasties. Okay. Okay, so this was the busy wee place I was. Here we have we've got something called a Rosa Compassion. Sounds better in a different language. Rosa Compassione or something like that. Okay, so this is quite cute. This is like a little archway. I think it's supposed to have roses of compassion all around, but don't see any. But it's a nice wee bit. Oh, beautiful butterfly. And here are some more of these in much better aspect. This um strange thistle and a huge bee just come to land for me. I don't mind bees. My name means bee in Hebrew after all. It's the wasps I can't stand. Oh nice shot pal. Talking of wasps, there's a few around. I love daisies as well. These are gorgeous. Oh, butterfly. So pretty. It's gone. I think it was worth just coming here to see these daisies on their own. I actually really wanted to touch a thistle to see if it was jaggy, but. There's too many bees on them. Here's another little archway. Now that's more of a think what they intended with the Rose de Compassion or uh, yeah. This is very attractive. And you can actually watch walk, th and you can actually walk through this archway to this wee ducat, and it's quite a romantic looking bench. That's my favourite bench. I would actually sit on that without cleaning it first. That's how much I like it. And you've got something down there called sun and substance. But I can't see any of that either. And I think the idea is that when this garden is looking its finest and sorry, but today's not the day. When this garden is looking its finest, the idea is all these wee sort of paths that don't really go 
anywhere. The idea is when all the plants are all, you know, properly kept, you see that the little name tags are all hidden away because they're so overgrown. Cal Solaria Sunset. And some of the tags are even just sort of strewn around. I'm really quite upset. This is the National Trust for Scotland place and um, I really, honestly, it's not my place to give reviews. I mean, that's not the point. I'm doing this because I wanted to come to see a pretty beautiful garden and enjoy nature, but I have to say... When you're looking at everything in detail, it does look unkempt. I'm sorry, it does. I mean, I'm not a gardener, but I love nature and I've got a kind of gardener's heart, whatever that means. And I think Monty Dawn, you know, would be. I think Monty Dawn would not be having this at all. Like, he'd be like, come on, guys. You know. Uh, these are just weeds. I mean, you can pay me. I'll, I'll sort it out for them. But ignoring all that, it's still nice to come here. But really, it would be so much better and nicer if um, there was a sense that it was being really properly looked after and kept. This is the National Collection of Virginia. We have over a hundred species and cultivars of Virginia. It gives good ground cover, flowers in spring, and the leaves are ideal for flower arranging. I mean, half the flowers look dead. I mean, they are dead. <laughs> they look dead because they are dead. That is dead. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, I think uh, they need to bring a I mean, look at these pot plants. I'm sorry, but really, would Monty Don be having this? Or Charlie, Charlie, what's her name? Would they be having this? Pots are so dry, like, I mean, it rains here constantly, so how's even that the case? <laughs> I just wanted to come and, ooh, I'm being chased by a really huge bee, obviously, it does not like me too much. I really wanted to come and just enjoy the garden and, and I feel like I'm like seeing negative stuff but only because it really does look like there's a lot of work that needs done to make this place back to its former glory. Mm. So yeah, I think that's about it. Back where I started and I've explored all of the wee ducats and nookets. Probably don't want to spend as much time here as maybe I would have. You know, if everything had been as fabulous as it could have been.
This is really attractive. But again, just surrounded by overgrown, dead looking shrubs. So, that's me just come out of the Green Bank Garden and I have just spied Absolutely gorgeous. So graceful, still, and peaceful. There's another one at the back. It's doing something fancy with its tail. <laughs> it was. And a wee bird has decided to join in. Well, that just tops off what it's been actually a lovely day. And also when I was leaving the garden, just at the entrance I met this lovely couple. They weren't a couple, they were friends, but... Uh, man and woman and I had a great conversation. Some people you just kind of feel naturally kind of drawn to sometimes. Just kind of hit off with them and <laughs> stood there and spoke to them for about half an hour, a wee impromptu conversation and it was really good. They were lovely folks so that was nice as well. And we were chatting about all sorts of things. Life, the universe, neighbours. Really intrigued to know where that road goes. Not sure. I'm going on that road, which is the way back. Just in time to catch a train.